Some say it's elitist. Only the very rich can afford to pay up to £1,000 for the very best seats in the house. Yet 5% of the British population regularly attend this theatrical spectacle. They come for the drama, the tragedy, and of course, the great singing. Welcome to the world of football. Actually, opera isn't much different. Three million fans regularly attend football matches, and you might be surprised to learn that as many people go to the opera every year. Both are expensive hobbies. Top tickets at the Premiership Club can cost up to £94. But even the lower leagues are expensive. It'll cost you £23 to see Swindon play and £25 at Stoke. It's true that the most expensive seats at the Royal Opera House are £184, but the cheapest ones do go for £4. But here at the English National Opera, front row seats in the upper circle will cost you just £10. So in fact, at entry level, watching professional opera is cheaper than watching professional football. What would it take to convince you to go to the opera? Naked men. I think sex sells, isn't it? <laughs> Mature and naked men. Strippers and so on and so forth. Yeah. So is opera just for toffs? Well, 200 years ago, opera was pop music, popular entertainment for a mass audience. And it still can be today. Remember Nessan Dorma, when Pavarotti's version of the Puccini aria was used as the BBC's theme for the 1990 Football World Cup? The big man's album, The Essential Pavarotti, went to the top of the pop album charts and remained there for a remarkable five weeks. So for opera anywhere, the news is good. If they can continue to offer high quality performances and an accessible repertoire, then they and their audiences will continue to grow. It's an open goal.